Hey y'all, I'm Deb Evans. I am here to talk to you about some tax tips. Um, I'm an enrolled agent. Uh, that means I'm a federally licensed tax professional. I'm also a Ramsey certified financial coach. So today I want to talk about profit. Profit um, is, is definitely a word that is, has some mixed feelings about it. As a business person, we should want profit, right? Um, profit says our business is successful, we're doing well. But profit also means you're paying more in taxes, right? So I have a lot of people, um, when I do their, their tax return, uh, say, oh no, I, you know, I don't want to, I want to deduct everything and I don't want to have uh, any profit. You know, no profit, that's too much profit, no profit, um, because they see that tax bill. But um, there are some reasons why you definitely want to have um, some profit in your business. And the first one is that you're running a business. And so uh, we want to have some success to that. Now, there are people who are running businesses intentionally at a loss um, as a tax um, dodge, basically. Um, it, and that's legal. It's, it's legal to run a business at a loss. I mean, that happens. Um, but when you're intentionally running a business at a loss um, because you want to, uh, to reduce the amount of your other income, which is how that works, uh, you're, you're skating on some thin ice with the IRS. And one example of that would be hobby versus business. If you are a business and you legitimately spent more money than you made, that's a loss that is deductible. It is understandable. The IRS knows this. But if you're running a business um, as a hot, are you running doing something as a hobby? For example, let's say you are, um, one example we see is people who show horses. Okay, and they want to claim that as a business, but it's really not a business. They're just, they're doing it on the side. They're trying to, um, you know, just win some money here and there. Um, so the question is, is it a hobby or a business? As a hobby, you can deduct some of your expenses, but you can't create a loss from it. Okay, so um, the IRS at some point might look at you and say, are you a, a hobby or are you a business? And one of the things they look at is, are you set up to be a business? Are you running this as a business? Are you marketing? Are you um, uh, taking, taking clients? Are you making efforts to improve in your field? Uh, if you run a loss more than, you know, four or five years, they might start saying, well, you know, are, are, but as long as you can show you really are trying to make money, then, then it's usually okay. So just keep that in mind. Are you really running a business or are you running a, a hobby? Um, so profit means you were successful in our business. Um, so it's a goal, right? Making money is the goal. But there's a couple of other reasons why you want to have a profit. And one of those really come down to um, what is your family situation? What is your other income situation? If you are married and your spouse has a W-2 job and, and our business and they're, they're, they're supporting you, um, then running a business with very little profit is probably, you know, you're paying your bills, right? So I guess the question is, if you are running a loss every year and that's your only income, how are you paying your bills, right? So the IRS is going to ask that. They're going to look at that. Um, if you are working a full-time job and have, have the, the business on the side, profit isn't as important. You're using your job to pay your bills, right? Now, the, why is this important? This is important because, um, Social Security, okay, you are, we're hoping, you knock on wood, that, that, um, that the, the Social Security is around for us when we retire, but Social Security benefits are based on the, the income that you've made through the years, right? So if you are a, a business and you have a profit, um, say you're sole proprietor, that profit is your income. That's what the, the, the Social Security Administration sees as your income. Now, if the Social Security Administration is not seeing any income, um, they're not, you're not going to get any benefits. Uh, and, and I had this, this issue with one of my clients, um, that he, he honestly, he played some games with it. He, he tried to, to always run at a loss. His wife worked. Um, so he, they were living off of her income and he didn't want to pay any taxes. And so he, he played some games with it. Um, and then he became disabled. He had, he, he developed a disease and it was debilitating and he couldn't work anymore. So he applied for Social Security Disability, and he couldn't get it because um, he didn't have any work credits paid in. Now, if you are married um, and you retire, you, you may be eligible to get 
retirement benefits from your spouse's income. So that is a thing. Um, if you're divorced and you've been married, you were married for 10 years or more, you can still get benefits from your spouse. But the disability, it was, it was not, it didn't happen. So, um, so that's one reason if, if, if your business is your sole um, support, you're going to want to make money, right? You're going to make money. The other main reason that I see um, is, is if you want to get a loan. A lot of times I'll have someone come in and the, the sole proprietors are the best ones for this. They come in, I haven't filed in five years. Or I just haven't, you know, I haven't done it. And so we say, well, well why, why are you filing now? Did you get a letter from the IRS? No, I'm trying to buy a house. Okay. They have to file, they have to be current with their taxes to be able to get the mortgage, right? Um, except um, they are going to owe some self-employment tax and therefore they're going to have a bill to the IRS and that's going to hurt them getting the mortgage. And so um, it, it turns out to be a big thing, but um, kind of got off track on that a little bit. <laughs> but as far as getting a loan or a mortgage, you need to show that you have income, right? And so being able to show a profit and loss statement each year that shows that income is going to help you get that loan. It's going to help you with your credit. It's going to help you get the better credit score. All right. Um, now, the, the downside of profit is taxes. If you are a sole proprietor, you are paying self-employment tax, which is 15.3%. That covers your Social Security and your Medicare. The more money you make, the more that is. But it's 15.3%, right? So if you make $10,000 more, you're not paying $10,000 in taxes right? You're paying 15.3% of that. So I don't really see um, that being a good argument as to not wanting to make more money. Okay. Um, I think the key is to be prepared for it, to set that money aside, to, to keep some savings, to, um, to set up a budget so that when revenue comes in, you have, this is the profit first mentality. When revenue comes in, you immediately send some of it, a percentage of it to your personal. You immediately send a percentage of it to your savings. You immediately put a percentage of it towards your taxes. Okay. And then whatever's left is what you pay your, your business expenses with. So that's the profit first approach. Um, so profit is your friend. Profit is something we should aim for. And of course you want to pay as little taxes as we can. We want to take advantage of every tax planning strategy that we can take. And I'm, I'm happy to help you with all of that. But please leave the mindset of, I don't want to make profit. I don't want to make money because profit, um, telling the Irish you don't have any profit, um, is one thing, but you're also telling your, your personal lifestyle, your personal self that you're, you're not making any money either. So, so think about that. Think about profit as your friend. Um, and that's one of the things I work with self-employed professionals to, to make sure that you are profitable and that you are, you're running your business as, as a legit, um, you know, good business that you can be proud of. People ask you what you do. You can tell them with pride what you do because you know that it is, it's a successful, profitable business. And if your business is not profitable for a legit reason, a lot of startups do not make money the first three to five years. If you have a lot of expenses, let's say you're a retail establishment, you had invested inventory, you have staff, you have, um, you know, uh, rental expenses, then you're not going to run as high a profit. That's okay. It's a legit um, getting started. So you're planning for that as well. But in general, um, let's make money, right? <laughs> let's make some profit. All right. So thanks for checking in today and I will talk to you next time. Bye-bye.